Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at another Colt, and this is a Colt that I do not own, and before we go into it, I'm going to show you that nobody can get killed with it through the, through the camera, this Colt's empty. This is a 1970 Colt Python, 357 Magnum, <clears throat> now what makes this cool is the person that owns this gun is the most unlikely person to ever to own a Colt Python. And this isn't a sexist or racist comment, but this is a young lady that owns this that nobody would ever think would own a Colt Python. But she's one of the people that can truly appreciate craftsmanship when she sees it. And she's always wanted one, and I found one. And I told her about it, and she bought it. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because this thing is dirty. We wore this thing out today at the range. Put lots of rounds through it. <clears throat> and the reason we chose to do that today is I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to do something to it that's going to make the white glovers go crazy. I'm going to get it refinished. <clears throat> I'm going to make this into a brand new looking gun. Um, I have a local gunsmith that I've mentioned several times in several of my videos that do, does all the work for me. And he's the only person I personally know that can duplicate Colt's Royal Blue Finish. And these things are gorgeous. And I wanted to show it to you with all the powder burns on it all the fingerprints all over it and I am personally going to redo these grips myself I'm going to restore these grips back to the original condition and he's going to do the refinish job and go through the action and all that and I'm going to do a follow-up video when when it's all done and show you what a restored Colt Python looks like so this gun's not in the greatest shape as you can see it's not bad, but it's not in the gray shape. It's got some wear. It's 50 years old. And um, the white glovers out there will lose their mind when they see what we're going to do to this thing. But what are you going to do? Leave it looking like this? Or are you going to have it looking brand new? Which one would you rather have? And this girl bought this thing with no intention of selling it. So why not make it look perfect? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this thing look perfect. I just did this short video today to tell the people I'm going to continue to stress this until people stop listening. You have to use your stuff, people. This is a pretty expensive firearm, but what good is it if you don't use it? And this thing is going to look brand new when we get done with it. I'm doing part, and the gunsmith's going to do part. And when you see this thing again, everybody out there that's in the Colt Pythons and you probably are if you click on this video would want to own this thing and it's going to look perfect so with that being said what I'm going to do here is I am really going to freak out some white glovers I'm going to set this down for a second now I'm going to grab this green scrubber here and I'm going to show you how bad I'm going to sit here and rub this on the side of the barrel Look at this, I'm rubbing all the finish off of it. Think that freaked anybody out? I just rubbed the finish off of a Colt Python. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what folks? When we refinish it, we're gonna take the finish off of it anyway. I just wanted to show you people, it's not that big a deal. If it's refinished, who cares? If you get somebody who knows what they're doing, it's gonna look perfect. And this gun will look perfect. See how I just scratched it up? Pretty bad, huh? Wait till you see it again. It's probably gonna take a week, week and a half before we get this thing done. And it will look perfect. And I don't care where I do it at. I'll, I'll do it right here on the side. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub it right here where it's real shiny. Look, scratched it. Who cares? It'll look perfect. I just scratched up a 50 something year old Colt Python and I want to hear people yell scream and holler about how I just ruined this gun when they see it again they'd be jealous of it 
but anyway things shot amazing today the action's perfect just like every other colt python it's real smooth single action is really good double action's really good it's a colt python I mean, it's gonna be a perfect colt python when we're done with it anyway let me know what you think about refinishing this 1970 colt python royal blue and if you would do it or if you'd just leave it alone now we have to do it because i took all the finish off of it man i really ruined that thing big old scratches on the side of it anyway folks just a quick video on a 1970 colt python owned by a young lady this was it's younger than this gun and she loves it and she'll never get rid of it but you folks have a great day and thank you for watching my video